Okay everyone, what we're going to have a look at uh, now is a short video on uh, finding the resistance of a piece of cable, a single core bonding cable for example. Uh, we're going to use guidance note 3 and we're going to look at table B1 on page 148. So it's guidance note 3, page 148. table B1. Let's say it is a piece of cable, single core, bonding cable for example, might be between the gas pipe and the uh, uh, MET. Let's say it's 26 meters long and it's 10 millimeters squared. Well in the book the formula is there, milliamps per meter times length divided by a thousand. Now if you look down to 10 mil single core cable it actually says the line conductor there but it doesn't really matter for this calculation it's 1.83 for a single core 10 mil cable. So we just make a note of that 1.83 is from the table. The formula is <coughs> milliohms per meter times length divided by a thousand. You might find it easier to use a formula B1 times length divided by a thousand so that you know it's from table B1. So the figure is, if you put the figures in, it's 1.83 times 26 divided by 1000. You do that on your calculator, that comes out to 0 0.047. So if you were to measure a piece of cable about that length, you would get that result. Okay, thank you very much.